Hello again, this is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener. Today we're going to talk about aloes versus agaves. What is the difference between these two wonderful class of succulents? Uh, both tremendous drought tolerant, low maintenance, but very different and will serve different needs in your succulent garden. So, Basically, the difference between the two is aloes are showier with really beautiful flowers. Agaves are more singular standalone plants. They do bloom, but as you'll see, they don't bloom anywhere near as frequently as an aloe. But we're going to look at a bunch of different varieties as well. So let's get started. First up are the agaves. Now, the great thing about agaves is they are very tough plants, and the foxtail agave is probably the toughest of all the agaves. It's called the foxtail because when it blooms, and it only blooms once in its life, it produces this spectacular six-foot bloom that kind of arches over and kind of looks like a fuzzy little foxtail. It'll bloom for about almost six months. When it's done blooming, it's done. It dies. That's it. It's called a monocarpic plant. It only blooms once in its life. And then it will die. The mother plant will die, but then you'll have pups at the base. So that's the most obvious feature of an agave. All agaves are monocarpic. They tend to be these wonderful solitary plants until they bloom and die. And here's some other wonderful varieties. Blue go, the variegated one, the blue agave, very common. The other thing about agaves, is, as you can see, is that they are big and for the most part, they are sharp. Uh, the foxtail is one of the few agaves that is not sharp, but most agaves are sharp. And so you want to use them someplace not close to a patio or pathway, like you see in these examples, a nice solitary plant that really does serve as a focal point. And again, when they bloom, they are spectacular. One of my favorites is the octopus agave because it blooms straight up, this giant 15 foot tall bloom. It'll bloom for several months and bees love it. Even hummingbirds love an octopus agave. And again, when it's done blooming, the mother plant will die, but then there will be pups at the base and then it'll be something really kind of beautiful when it takes over and you get more little agaves but in the meantime you get these unbelievable flowers again five to ten years sometimes 15 years depending on which agave it is but it's a really beautiful plant all right now let's talk about the aloes so the aloes are a much different plant they tend to say still can be sharp um, sharp little plants, but they tend to be much smaller in scale, as you're about to see with these examples, and they are not monocarpic. They bloom every year, and the flowers tend to be in the oranges, yellows, and reds, and hummingbirds just love these guys when they're blooming. Really great for a drought tolerant garden that is also hummingbird friendly. Coral aloe is one of my favorites because it has the classic orange tubular flowers that hummingbirds really, really love. But all aloes have these wonderful tubular flowers that are very attractive. Um, to bees and hummingbirds as well. And so there's lots of different combinations. African aloe has those different colors. The Eric the Red is obviously just a really beautiful red one. It really is, you know, dazzling red. Again, very low maintenance. The other important thing about aloes is they have thicker leaves. So they're much greater at fire resistance than other plants. Agaves are pretty fire resistant, but aloes, because they have those thick, juicy leaves, like aloe verde, like, you know, you see in the store, they tend to get um, much they have much higher fire resistance if that is concerned with where you're landscaping so next time you're out shopping for succulents and you see something that says aloe or agave just remember those agaves can get pretty darn big so make sure you put the right plant in the right space here's a couple other examples of wonderful aloes as well well that's all the time we have for today this is doug the two minute gardener make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to get more of my garden videos until next time this is doug the two minute gardener saying thanks for watching